All right, just a quick one for you today. I just realized that I completely forgot to tear apart this uh, sensor out of the uh, brake fluid reservoir. I'll uh, I'll link to the uh, video for that. Uh, so I think we were guessing that this was probably some sort of reed switch or something. It looks like uh, the innards snap in right here. And of course, as usual, this is a destructive test. So we don't particularly care very much what happens to it. All right, so that's just uh, like the sleeve for the uh, for the liner there. Uh, maybe we'll just cut it down down long ways. All right, so the debate was: is this or the uh, question was: is this like a reed switch or a uh, like a Hall effect sensor? So a reed switch is basically just a magnetic switch. So what it's got, yeah, I mean, you can Google it, but what it's got in it is just a little piece of uh, metal that you're gonna make contact, or that the magnet is gonna pull either up or down on, and it's gonna cause it to, uh, come on. It's gonna cause it to make contact in there. Based on the size of this thing, I'm kinda leaning toward it's probably a reed switch. Yeah, so this is going to be, yep, it is a reed switch. At least it looks like it from here. Man, this thing is really, it's almost like they don't want it to come apart. All right, looks like there's some sort of current limiting resistor in there. Jeez. All right, so what do we got going on in here? Still can't really tell. Yep, just broke it. Well, crap. You can see the remnants of the reed switch. Yep. See, there's the glass bulb. So what we got here... Oop, got myself. Yeah, so there's the remainder of it. So you can see this little contact in here and this little contact right here. That's a reed switch with a current li limiting resistor in there. So that's all it is. Yeah, and just crimped together right there. Oh, God. I'm bleeding out. I'm not going to make it. But anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching.